Thursday, Wednesday. There we go, pedicab of life. Jeepney of life. Taxi of life. <laughs> so, I uh, left home this morning and then the bike died. Ah, oh, dear me. It's got a new battery. I'm waiting for a taxi. It is so hot today. Yeah. So hot. So, uh, yeah, I was riding along, uh, pulled in to get some money from the bank, turned the bike off, went in, come back, and I went, and he went, it, it, it. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. I walked it home. It's uh, 1.30 now, and I've got this guy. He can see me do work on the bike on the 3rd of January. So I turned around and said, yeah, do that, we'll do that. I could turn around and take it to uh, Desmart, where I bought it from, which is down that way, about another two kilometers. But they don't do, they don't do towing here. And they don't give you help to get you to their garage. So I think there's something being missed there. Anyway, I'm waiting for a taxi. I can't see a taxi anywhere. Another jeepney. Right. I'm going to go get tight to eat. Down at S10. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. So, uh, 20, 28 today. Uh, I didn't post a vlog yesterday. Um, reason being I was trying to register so for all those guys that live outside the Philippines that uh, on the 27th of December 2022 it was uh, the first day of registering your mobile phone SIM with your telco provider in the Philippines so I tried it yesterday I went on to Globe um, gave them my name or the, my name SIM card, telephone number, email address, sex, uh, address, and my ID, which I use as my passport, uh, and then waiting, and, and then waiting, and uh, it kicked back, uh, turning around and saying, this is my first attempt, turning around and saying that I'd exceeded the amount of times that I could uh, process my registration. Just a little white screen uh, comes up with a little red circle with a white X in it. Says can't proceed. So, uh, so I tried again about two or three hours later, and the same again. I just think the system is flooded. Uh, what they're doing is uh, all SIM cards that are in mobile phones need to be registered to stop uh, uh, scamming cheats and liars and all of the stuff that goes on with mobile phones. Uh, people have two or three phones with mobile, they just go out and buy a mobile, mobile like a SIM card, put it in a mobile, start using it, start sending all of this uh, dodgy, dodgy messaging uh, and uh, begging letters and all of that stuff. So hopefully it'll cut out all the e-beggars that are uh, the foreign e-beggars that are here in the Philippines. Okay. So I tried that again uh, around 1.30 and, and I failed on that. So I'm going to let it calm down for about two or three weeks and then try it. I've got two mobile phones I need to sit around and register one day with a smart uh, and then the other one is with Glow. Uh, but there's a lot of outcry about data protection, giving away your information, why do they want to know about whether you're male or all of this stuff and uh, I just think well yeah people have got people have got a point but at the end of the day you need your mobile phones don't you and if the law is they're going to cut off your mobile phone after 180 days because you've not registered what are you going to do it's a different registration for foreigners when you come here you can register when you arrive use your passport um, but if you're using your phone and you haven't registered, after 30 days, they cut you off. 
they don't give you any access to that communication line because you've not registered, you don't turn around and said that you're a foreigner, you don't turn around and tell them where you're staying, you don't turn around and tell them where your idea is. But I think the government are going to get a bit of a shock with it really, but that's just my point of view. Um, I think people are going to be turning around and showing ID that doesn't have the same address as the SIM card or where they purchased the phone from. And it's all going to be this open up a can of worms for the telco companies that don't manage. Uh, but uh, you have to go on globe, you have to go smart, you have to go deto. Uh, I presume that there would be a, uh, a, a, a portal just for people to register their mobile phone app, but it isn't. You have to go onto your media network and register. But I failed twice yesterday, that's why I didn't post, post a vote, uh, post uh, a vlog. I was just getting upset with it really, it's just uh, it's more, more bureaucracy and more paperwork, but for a good reason. But um, it's busy here today. SM, that tree. That's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. They you know how to live Christmas here. Before this, I turned around and I did a vlog about uh, putting the bike in for a service. I went out on the bike this morning and pulled up at the bank, got the money out, and then went back on the bike, and the bike was going. No power, no nothing. No lights on, no indicators on. Um, I had this about a month and a half ago and I bought a new battery. It seems, well, the guy in the garage says, oh, the battery's dead. Yeah, right. I wonder where I, what country manufactured that battery. I wonder if it begins with uh, C, ends in A, five letters. They make plates out of it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go and get some, just had some uh, Cinnabon sticks. Really, really nice with the coffee. The coffee's very good here. Uh, the pastries are expensive, but the coffee's cheap. The coffee's 100 peso um, for a cup this size. And it's a really nice cup of coffee. The guy does a really good job here. Hopefully you guys have had a really, really good Christmas. Uh, you're going to have a great New Year. I've had a, a stunning Christmas. Uh, thanks to Greg and Riza for the 24th. That was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and uh, Wilmer and George for the 25th. Absolutely stunning, absolutely bloated. I had a light buffy on the 26th uh, with George and Wilmer again uh, and went home and was bloated. Uh, I've eaten so much food, I've put on about eight kilos. And I'm just trying to cross the road. So they've got the battery and I've just come down. They do chip and pin here. So I've just come in to turn around and pay for the battery. 1,900 peso. Guess what? Chip and pin doesn't work. So, so I've had to go across to this bank over here and withdraw money. Uh, yeah. So here's, here's the lady. Here's the cashier lady. There we go. There she's smiling. There's a young lady. She's finished. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> what is your name, ma'am? My name is Melanie, sir. Melanie. Yes, sir. Nice to see you, Melanie. Okay, thank you, sir. Hello, Puya. What's your Hi, name? Sir. My name is Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. Nice to see you. And this Hi, is... sir. My name is Jane. And this is the woman that has a cash machine here that doesn't yeah, work. See, this one here. It's not being registered. The chip and pin is not being registered. Oh, my God. BPI. Get alive. Get alive. Get alive. There we go. We're at Desmark. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, look at the, all those lovely bikes. Okay. Let's pace. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young one, yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want